Yeah, this is my peach congo plant. Um, this is the third attempt to get the video of the plant. I did the review weeks ago and um, lost the video. Then I shot video again for it. I lost that, but the plant pretty much looks the same. It has one little kind of tall shoot, a little couple, but mostly it's um, fairly short. And there's some pods still on it. It's almost, I'll probably get a frost tonight. But there's a few, and I've picked a bunch off of here. A lot of the others are much bigger. The one in the review is pretty big. Yeah, pop that guy off. That's a nice one. I mean, it's smaller than some of the others, but still. This is like kind of typical of the ones I had last year. But, um, yeah, so it's in a seven gallon gray bag. Um, I don't know if these will make it tonight. Go ahead. Well, it's kind of soft, but anyway, I'll go ahead and pick these. I just want to show you that before I post the review of it. Okay. I was Peter Stanley, got another pod test. Um, this is a peach Congo, and it's one of the, it seems like I have a hard time getting the peach color. Let me, um, let's see if this will help. Yeah. It does, it does have a peach color, it's just not showing. I guess it's the lighting in here, and that camera's not adjusting the um, exposure or something properly. But it looks kind of yellow-ish on the screen, but it actually is a peach color. Uh, it's a very large pod. It's another one of my pod on roids. Uh, maybe it's the... Osmocote. It could just be that they're really big. I grew, I grew it last year and the pods weren't this big. They're, they're a lot smaller. But it was in a smaller container too. So I could have had something to do with it. Um, I only remember, I didn't eat a whole pot of this last year, but I uh, tried samples of it and it was, it was a lot hotter than a habanero. Um, I don't know if I can eat this whole one. It's a, it's a lot of pod. But uh, I'll, I'll do what I can. But um, anyway, let's take a look at it and in the inside. All right, I got this big peach conga. like a kind of relatively thin wall um, quite a bit of sun under the top it looks fairly seedy which is good if you're saving seed I don't think I have any isolated peppers on this yet I need to get some because I don't have any that many seeds left but uh, seeds I, I have are from uh, Pepper Lover. They actually shared with me. Some one of my friends who got them from Pepper Lover. Looks kind of oily in spots. Um, you can see more of the peach color on the inside. There's drops of oil there. Let me zoom that in. That's usually a good indication of some heat. We start seeing that yellow oil droplets. But, uh, all right, well, let's see what it tastes like. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm just gonna go for a half pod, and and I'm gonna start on the less hot side and then work my way from there. Um, so I do remember these were pretty hot. So. Anyway, here goes the Peach Congo.
pretty juicy. Um, kind of had a not to do a smell test. Kind of a heavy, kind of slightly floral place uh, flavor at first. A little bit sweet and um, slightly citrusy. Um, And then it didn't really change much as I was chewing it. Not a whole lot of burn yet. Um, mostly attacking my tongue. Imagine the part of all the placenta is probably going to have some heat though. But <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't a bad flavor. Not, not my favorite. I think it'd be. I mean. Not something you want to just eat fresh anyway, but I don't know. It wasn't bad so far, but let me try this other piece. Kind of more of the same. It's got a little bit of more of a bitter aftertaste. <clears throat> Probably from all the placenta and seeds, but um, aftertaste also is kind of florally. Not my favorite. Um, <clears throat> we could have a lot more heat on that. It's still building. That's a lot of pod. Even half of it was it felt like it was more than some of the pods of an eating. Yeah, definitely more heat on that. It's still building a little bit. Still mostly um tongue and roof of my mouth. <clears throat> so far it doesn't seem as hot as the peach congo I grew last year. But this is like a first pod, one of the first ripe pods. I don't know if there's a difference in the heat on those versus later in the season. I've heard both ways, but the one that I did um, last year, I think, wasn't one of the first pods. <clears throat> Flavor was similar from what I remember. I think Pepper Lover mentioned in her description that um, you can make extreme poppers with them because they're, I guess because they're so big and boat-like when you cut them in half, you can fill them up with stuff and they'd be pretty hot. Um, <clears throat> so I guess I guess that'd be more like a slaughter. I don't know, not slaughter, but there's another name for like, um, I'm thinking of, but anyway, I don't remember, but um. Yeah, the burn's still going. It hasn't really dropped off, but it's it's. I think it's peaked, but uh, still a good, good general warmth in my mouth to the back of my throat. Um, <clears> throat> not like a real painful burn. It's just more of a hot. <clears throat> it's really a really a nice burn. Uh, I'm thinking about making. Um, just mainly for, um, I don't know how well all the flavors will complement each other, but mainly going for the the colors and then um, <clears throat> some I haven't even tried yet, but maybe a powder, like a smoked powder with um, these peach boot and the Jay's peach ghost scorpion would probably go really well. Um, don't quite have enough yet to make it worthwhile, but soon I should have enough right pods pull that off and then dehydrate them. Uh, probably be good on that. 
um, anyway, um, I think that's about it. Those are the Peach Congo from Pepper Lover. And I uh, um, hope you like that. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.